Hi everyone, so today's video is going to be all about uh, fountain pens, inks, converters, all of that stuff. So I'm going to cover a few questions that have been asked um, by my viewers and also um, there are a couple of videos that requested. So basically I will share all of my fountain pens that I have, which is five. So that's the two Lamy's and then um, a, f a couple of um, other brands. Um, also, I was asked a question about the um, suitable converters. So we'll cover that off. And um, also how to clean blocked nibs as well. So first I thought to do a separate video, but I think I'm just going to really focus on, on the subject because um, it's a great time today. Mason is napping. I uh, managed to get him to nap once a week now. So this is the third nap in, in three weeks, um, a decent nap. So um, hopefully I have a little bit of time to talk in detail about all of this. So let's start with the Lamy Safaris. So these are two of my pens. Now the very first one I ordered was this one and it's the Lamy Safari and the nib is fine. So it's a black looking nib. And um, it's a great pen for writing. So I use it uh, purely for writing, hardly ever for drawing. And inside the um, fountain pen, I use this um, Lamy ink cartridge, which is a black ink, and it's completely water soluble. So I have ordered, I'm trying to think, yeah, all of these items that I'm talking about today, I have ordered them on Amazon. So um, if you're interested, then I will link, leave some links uh, for you. The Lamy ink uh, cartridges come in a pack of four um, and every pack has five uh, cartridges. You may think that it is a lot but I have already um, almost finished the uh, first box of it and you get through uh, them quite quickly so um, it's a lot cheaper to order four packs. Now you will notice that they're quite long and the, the thing that might be confusing if you're starting with fountain pens is the size um, of the uh, cartridges, ink cartridges, and every pen has a different uh, size or a style of a um, cartridge. So don't think that if you buy uh, a pen you might use cartridges from another pen with it so you have to make sure that you look into the right uh, from the same brand um, cartridges or also in converters um, <clears throat> so th th these are two blues and if you order the fountain pens from Lamy Safari you get it with one blue ink uh, cartridge included so that's what I got and um, I don't really like uh, blue ink uh, at the moment so maybe that will change but I'm keeping them anyway just in case I'll change my mind at some point it might be good for writing but um, I like black for writing as well so that's that um, great pen for writing it glides really nicely over pen it's super uh, over paper it's super smooth and just really easy I, I find that if I need to write something really quickly this is the pen I grab because it just flows but um, yeah so it's, it's a great pen for writing um, then when, when I ordered it first I realized that the nib wasn't fine enough for me and so I then went back and ordered a white Lamy Safari and this one has the extra fine nib. So you can see it's a beautiful silver nib with a white casing. For this one, I have also ordered a converter. And the Lamy converters uh, are really beautifully made. So you can see here, there are these little grooves and so, I hope I'm not going to make any mess. 
so it really clicks in there and um, when you're putting the ink in there you need to make sure you find these little knobs here on the side I hope you can see yeah right there and then you need to click them in so this is what the converter looks like mine seems to be already half empty and um, very good quality very good amount of it and I really like using them uh, the ink inside here I'm using the waterman ink so this is this um, beautiful black ink and um, it's called intense black ink it's not really intense although you can build it up to a very black uh, black color if you uh, apply a lot of it and if you create a thick line but if you're doing just thin lines you may find that it's not black enough and it's a water soluble ink so it's not waterproof and I'm just going to show you what they look like so the first one that I showed you so the um, Lamy black ink looks like that and this is what the Waterman ink looks like. So it's got a greyish, bluish kind of colour if you like to use water. Um, or on its own, it sort of looks more like a grey-black, like a dark grey, rather than intense black. So compared to Lamy's black, which is a true black, you can see that there is a difference. So that's that next pen that I ordered I believe it was this one so I um, before I ordered the Waterman ink I have actually ordered this Noodler um, I think what is it called the Heart of Darkness black ink and um, I really love the way the bottle looks it's a glass bottle and it's got a long pipette in there and just the whole thing looked really nice to me and I, I have heard from my American fellows um, that you know it's it's a very beautiful ink and you like to use it so I thought okay I have to give it a go and it was supposed to be waterproof and it is marketed as waterproof ink however in my opinion it's not really there are better or more waterproof inks from Noodles ink um, than the heart of darkness so if you want to try their ink do make sure that you do a good research I know that there is a um, Langsington gray I think which Ali Brown likes to use and that is sort of uh, like a grayish dark grayish I think ink and um, it's waterproof because she uses it in her uh, water journal, uh, in her art journals with watercolors. Um, but when it comes to black, I think there is also another black uh, ink that's something bulletproof, or I'm not sure what it, exactly it's called. So I think I just wasn't making, I didn't make the right decision when I bought this particular one because I actually hardly use it. And it's a large bottle as well. So to show you what it looks like when you work with it, so this is the Noodler's ink. It kind of uh, goes into a like a warm toned grey uh, compared to the uh, Lamy ink, which is over here. And as you can see, comparing this ink, which claims to be a waterproof, to, to the carbon ink, which is a true uh, waterproof ink, you can see that here. If you go with water over the line uh, straight away, that's all you get. Just a very, very light, um, light cast here. And this is quite a lot more uh, water soluble. So to me, that's not a waterproof ink because if I want a waterproof ink, it means that I want to work really quickly with my illustration. And as soon as I'm done drawing, give it a few seconds here or there. And then I want to be able to go in with the watercolor and things to stay as they are, which I can't do it with the Noodler's ink, the heart of darkness. So moving on to... Oh yes, yeah. so when I ordered this bottle, it's quite a large bottle, 
um, I thought I would really like it so I went for the big one it came with I'm trying to see how big it is 4.5 ounces doesn't say milliliters on the bottle so it came with this free um, fountain pen which is from Noodler Sink and it's called Charlie and as you can see there was a bit of uh, ink actually I think it was halfway but I stopped using it really uh, because it's not a great pen and it's sort of dried up there so it's starting to trickle down slightly so it's not fully dried but it's quite thick now at the point where you would have to clean it out and because it's a pen that uh, you use the pipette to fill in when you unscrew it, what happens is you don't really, you don't have like a vacuum system here that you can um, take water in and out and just clean it that way. You will have to submerge it in warm, soapy water and um, hope that it's going to clean out. And I would assume that the nib would need to be cleaned in the same way because if it's that much thickened up inside here I would imagine that it has dried up quite a bit in the nib so um, not really um, something I would recommend to buy on its own for sure but as a free kind of um, freebie um, it's okay now let's move on to the next one which is this one here so I discovered this platinum carbon ink um, pen a while ago and I was just so happy because I actually saw quite a few artists use this pen and they would never ever mention um, what pen this is and it was just I had to um, go through a lot of effort to try actually and find this pen and one of the artists actually uses a different name for it which I thought that it was their own kind of product which is quite sneaky I think so anyway the point is that I finally accidentally found it on Amazon and I was just you know so happy because this is really my favorite um, ink and pan combo um, that has really changed my drawing style and um, given me the, the exactly what I wanted from ink drawing and watercolor painting combo so it's a nicely long pan but it feels very light in your hand because it's tapered and I like this sort of taperedness about it because I, I like to point with it and it just kind of feels really good in your hands it has a really nice cap because it doesn't roll anywhere um, and then what I like about it is the sleekness. There is nothing else to this pan. It's just really smooth and sleek. And it's got a nice uh, gold little nib. Very elegant little pen. And then it's a extra fine. So it's a extra super fine. I don't remember what it's, what it's called exactly. Uh, what it's marketed as. But it's basically a lot thinner than the extra fine from Lamy and I will show you in a second uh, what the illustration looks like here the system is slightly confusing because once you open you find this silver part here which actually is uh, you can screw it open on both both sides this side get the, the this part gets really messy so if you want to clean it properly you'd have to unscrew everything and then submerge it again in warm water um, but uh, I try to not do it so the actual um, ink converter is just beautiful I find it it's the most beautiful converter out of all of the converters that I have I love the fact that it matches the gold of the pan and it's just so really really nice it kind of feels quite heavy on its own so it's got a good weight to it and because the pan itself is so lightweight together they are they just make the perfect weight so it just ticks all the boxes for me and um yeah really really happy and the other thing is it's really uh cheap compared to a um, lamy safari pen so um like i said this is the carbon ink that i use with it just because there is no other way it's the best ink as well it's completely waterproof and i will show you uh, an example 
So here is the example of that. So you can see how fine the line is and also that there is absolutely no ink movement once you introduce water or watercolor. So it's very, very pretty and it's just the best thing ever, in my opinion. So finally, um, I have then ordered them two together yes because I really loved how this pen writes with this ink so I just really love the combo um, now as a pen this feels kind of cheap not as cheap as this one but I would say second from bottom it's just not sort of great um, and it's kind of it, it rolls a whole circle because it has um, this little thing here to stop from rolling completely off the table but at the same time it does roll quite a bit whereas compared to the to this one it just rolls this like a um, half a centimeter but the pen itself is super super fun it's um it's got the uh, feud tip which is a bend tip as you can see which looks like you dropped your fountain pen and it landed on its tip and it's broken but it's not it's actually designed to give you a variety in the line thickness which i will show you an example of an illustration so uh, i covered off all of these separately anyway there are full reviews so you can go ahead and have a look but for now i'm just um kind of doing a collective video sorry about all this noise outside uh, basically i have also gone ahead and ordered a converter for this pen it came with two free cartridges which um, I haven't used the ink for because I don't know what it's going to write us and like I said I want I, I love the look of them two together so the cartridge is a lot uh, smaller and narrower so you, you use up quite a lot of ink quite quickly and also I'm not sure why but the uh, converter has a silver um, part here whereas the the fountain pen clearly has gold so it's not really a match in heaven but it works it does a great job and it is incredibly cheap I'm trying to think I bought it for somewhere between six and ten pounds I don't know I think it's cheaper than this one um, so it's really good and if you can manage to overlook things like you know the title of the pen is actually uh, want a line with the nib when you screw the, the base of it and it's just a lot of de design faults really um, it's uh, all over the place but the actual nib and the, the price that you pay for it I think is fantastic so I've got a few examples here I went back on and added these um, heads to the flowers in kind of Tim Burton style <laughs> and let's see so this is done with this pan you can see the variety of lines going from as thin as this to as thick as that um, beautiful kind of detailing you can do um, that's another example right here and here is another example there so yeah super fun to do okay so we covered off the inks we covered off the fountain pans the converters and now let me show you what I do to clean um, a fountain pan uh, a blocked uh, nib and also the converter I'll try to see which one has less ink so I can do it with <laughs> 